Hello, Facebook land. It's John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant, food critic, home chef, uh, BMW enthusiast from this afternoon. And uh, today, as I was driving back from uh, Santa Maria to do a walkthrough inspection on a piece of property, uh, and then dropping my BMW at uh, BMW San Luis Obispo, I just made a beeline to San Jose. Hadn't seen uh, Renato and Diane Cusumano for years uh, since they opened up this uh, uh, Palermo restaurant where the old uh, Paradiso used to be. Uh, I started dining at their uh, Palermo restaurant on 2nd Street in San Salvador back in 1986. And for a Neapolitan boy finding authentic Sicilian cuisine, that was pretty much as close as I was going to get to Mom and Papa Pinto's uh, Italian food. So uh, I just had uh, some arancini, some Sicilian rice balls, and um, I had some farfalle al salmone. So I feel compelled to go over this uh, menu. A couple of things. First of all, um, it might be difficult to find a restaurant that has a lot of alfresco dining uh, because it's been proven that you're safer under COVID-19 if you're outside rather than inside. Uh, and uh, to my shock and surprise, when I used to go into Paradiso's, I would just grab a spaghetti and meatball sandwich inside the deli, and that was it, take off. Uh, and uh, I was shocked when I walked in today to see that uh, Renato and Diane have a plethora of uh, alfresco dining. As you can see, there's a kind of a creek behind me. They stuck me behind this big tree. I told them I don't want anybody near me. Put me as far away from everybody as possible, and they did. So um, it's very difficult to find authentic Italian food. Uh, and, of course, uh, Neapolitan and Sicilian food is at the top of the list in terms of good uh, cooks. Nothing against the Bares, the Abruzzes, and the Calabres. But uh, uh, generally speaking, it's hard to beat the Neapolitans and the Sicilians. So I'm going to go over this uh, menu with you, just so you know. And I do recommend if you're anywhere in the South Bay, especially if you're near uh, downtown San Jose, uh, please do visit Diane and uh, Renato. Tell them I sent you, and uh, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so uh, so let's go for, uh, for the, uh, the menu. So the first thing they have under appetizers, I'll do appetizers first. Uh, mozzarella marinara, laid mozzarella, and bread rolled in flour and eggs, fried, served with a marinara sauce. That sounds like mozzarella and carrozza to me. Uh, it's fried mozzarella, fried cheese. Do I need to say more? You can't beat uh, fried cheese. Uh, fried zucchini spears, great. Caprese salad with uh, fresh mozzarella, uh, tomato, basil, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, please, no balsamic vinegar. They don't put it on here, and I don't like it on here. Uh, although you, it, it is good to put a little kosher salt on that. They've got your bruschetta, garlic bread, uh, meatballs. I'm sure he does a nice combination of uh, veal, pork, and beef on those meatballs. My mother actually used to take the crust off Wonder Bread, break it into pieces, wet it, and then roll it in the uh, chopped meat with a variety of other things, uh, garlic, parsley, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they've got a classic... Uh, sauteed spinach with uh, garlic and extra virgin olive oil. I like to throw a little crushed red pepper in that. Uh, they got calamare fritte, fried calamare. That's nice. Um, you know, if you could get them to do sauteed calamari instead of fried calamari, that's even better. Uh, no guarantees that they're going to make that, uh, um, that kind of an adjustment. Uh, I, as I mentioned, they got the arancini, the Sicilian rice balls, and they do make it uh, traditional style with the saffron, uh, the tomato sauce, uh, the peas, and the chopped meat. Uh, they got the panelle. Very hard to find panelle. It's basically uh, chickpea flour, uh, like little deep-fried pillows of chickpea uh, flour. If you are going plant-based, that is a very good option for you. You can't uh, beat it. Then they've got uh, some spadini alla romana, uh, layered mozzarella and bread rolled in flour and eggs. Uh, with the anchovy sauce. Everything tastes better with anchovies. Fried peppers. Let's see what they're doing. Red and yellow peppers. 
sauteed with basil, extra virgin olive oil, and herbs. Uh, thank God there's no green bell peppers. I don't like them. They don't need it like me. And if you could persuade them to throw a few anchovies on top, that is even better. They've got the burrata, a uh, relatively uh, recent addition. You know, people are ordering burrata instead of uh, mozzarella. With roasted peppers and Sicilian sea salt, that's got to be good. Caponata, Sicilian eggplant salad, uh, polenta. Now, when I first uh, came to California, uh, you know, the Neapolitans, we don't know what polenta is. So I called my dad. I go, hey, dad, um, there's Italians out here, but they're a little different. Um, you know, they're mostly Piedmontese, Genovese, Milanese, Ligurian. Uh, and they eat this stuff called uh, polenta, which is basically like grits. Uh, it's, uh, you know, cornmeal. And, uh, you know, it's tasty. Uh, Renato makes it with uh, sautéed, uh, sautéed with mushrooms. But my father, Francesco Pinto, he was always very funny. And he would say, Johnny, in Napoli we feeded the polenta to the chickens. So uh, there you go. I'm not saying polenta ain't good. I like polenta points with uh, my soft post, uh, poached eggs and a marinara sauce uh, with uh, grated pecorino romano on top. Uh, so it does have a, a use. Uh, and polenta is always quite tasty. Uh, so we, it looks like we have a quattro platter. Oh, this is a nice appetizer. Fried zucchini, calamari fritte, fried calamari, meatballs, and mozzarella marinara. Uh, $32. That should get you something. Oh, sounds like we might have Caltrain uh, here. So we are very close to Caltrain. We could walk to the station. I don't know how many people are taking public transportation these days. Okay, finishing up on the appetizers, we have eggplant a la parmesan. One of my favorites. Uh, you know, if you go in plant-based, that's great. Although the Mozzarella is not very plant-based, but the uh, eggplant is, and with a good marinara sauce, you get that satisfying tomato sauce. And if you want, you can tell them to minimize or skip the, uh, the mozzarella. And then guazetto, that's a winner. Uh, Neapolitans love their seafood, and that's clams, mussels, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and marinara sauce. And you can add pasta to that for three fifty. so how can you beat that? Uh, so under the soup, uh, minestrone, of course, pasta fazul, pasta fagioli. You know, that makes a good lunch just the way it is. Tortellini in brodo, classic beef tortellini soup. Meatball and tortellini soup, tortellini soup. That sounds like a good lunch as it is now. Um, and uh, I'll skip over the salads. I'm going to go directly to the uh, pasta uh, because there's, and I'll just highlight the ones that I am particularly enamored with. Uh, we've got a French Dunge uh, Dungeness uh, crab ravioli and a tomato vodka sauce. You don't get that every place. Uh, Chef Pinto uh, would recommend that. We have spaghetti carbonara uh, with eggs, uh, Italian bacon, and black pepper. Uh, you don't get that every place. That's uh, pretty tasty. Um, you get what I used to order at the old restaurant most of the time, the spaghetti carettiera, uh, which is basically the same thing as uh, spaghetti aglio e olio, and it's got extra virgin olive oil, sliced garlic, parsley, crushed red pepper. So, you know, in Sicily they must call it something different, uh, but it's basically your uh, aglio e olio, garlic, olive oil, crushed red pepper, flat leaf parsley with a little grated pecorino romano cheese on top. Of course, you got linguine and clams, always a winner. Uh, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, a little crushed red pepper. Spaghetti puttanesca, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, black olives, capers, garlic, marinara sauce. Um, you know, I like to put anchovies in mine. And instead of the marinara sauce, I use, like to use the oven dried uh, tomatoes. And, uh, oh, the, and what I ordered uh, today, the farfalle al salmone. The only fish dish that I know of that my Neapolitan cousins will actually put some uh, grated cheese on top. Um, so, you know, this will just give you a little taste. I didn't go through the whole menu. Uh, but I think it's important to note that there are Italian restaurants and then there are Italian-style restaurants. Uh, and uh, with Renato, uh, you have a real Italian restaurant. You have a real Italian menu. Renato and Diane know what they're doing. So uh, in the event uh, that uh, you are in downtown San Jose, you want to dine al fresco, 
and you want a, a nice uh, Sicilian meal, uh, this is the place. So, uh, in addition to my restaurant reviews, car reviews, home chefing, I am a real estate broker if you're looking to buy, sell, or, or exchange any real estate in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Don't hesitate to message me and let me know what uh, I can do to help you improve your shelter in place. And now it's time to go on my last leg of my journey uh, from uh, Santa Maria to San Luis Obispo to San Jose. And I'm um, hoping the terrible traffic at Mission San Jose uh, on 680 by Ohlone College is done. Uh, it's getting a little dark. I'll put on some Jimi Hendrix, some cream, drop the top down on the convertible, and that should uh, do more than enough to keep me awake while, uh, while I am uh, traversing uh, the rest of the way uh, to uh, Napa. Uh, bon appetito.